Hey everyone, it's Josh here. In today's software tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through Perplexity AI, a really cool AI answer engine that combines a traditional search engine experience with that of an AI chatbot. Now, Perplexity AI uses natural language predictive text to actually curate an experience similar to a search engine, but does it in a way that makes it feel like an AI chatbot. And not only does it do that, but it also, if you're using the pro version, combines the experiences of GPT-4, Gemini, Claude, all the other AI chatbots out there into one curated experience. It's a really cool tool that brings together a lot of other technologies in a cohesive way. And today I'm going to be walking you through the process of how to use it as a complete beginner, showing you how step-by-step -step to use it and all the tips and tricks you might need along the way. So with that being said, let's jump right into everything you need to know about Perplexity AI. All right, so just based on a simple search here where I said, how do I use Perplexity AI as a beginner? You can see the difference it takes in its innovative approach to actually handling the query or prompt as opposed to something like Claude, GPT-4, and other chat platforms. This actually has more of a search engine feel to it. At the beginning, we have, of course, something you would never see in any other AI chatbot, which is sources. We've got YouTube sources, perplexity sources, and more. And then they actually give the answer. We've got the answer, much as you would see in any other AI chatbot, how to use perplexity AI as a beginner, start with a clear question or topic, and then go through each of these features. Now, what's really cool is it actually combines that with those videos that you would typically find in a search engine. And there are so many other ways that you can actually curate and collect your actual search queries together to make them more cohesive. So that, for example, if you have a specific topic you want to research about and you only want answers from YouTube or you only want answers from a specific site, you can actually group those together in a way that makes them much more easily organized and allows you to have a better user experience in cultivating the right information, hence the name Answer Engine. In addition to that, it actually allows you to bounce off of your initial search query to actually get something even better. So if we scroll down here, the next one I picked was what are the main features of Perplexity AI? And as you can see on the right hand side, we can search by images, search by videos, generate images. That's on the pro version, um, but we have our answer as well backed up by sources. And if we scroll down even further, we have even more related answers. You can continue down a spiral of research using this engine, combining the powers of the most powerful AI chatbots, but with a comfortable and reasonable, and most importantly, relevant information like a search engine. What languages are supported by Perplexity AI? What makes Perplexity AI's content generation unique? Well, how about we ask that? What does make its content generation unique? It's gonna pull up all of its sources from YouTube, Reddit, Stork, and other ones, and the answer, much as you would see in an AI chatbot. Now, the interface for using Perplexity AI is similar to what you would see in pretty much any other AI chatbot. We've got the ability to go and actually attach text or PDF files, ask follow-up questions, and if we enable the pro version, we get their most powerful search, ideal for longer answers to complex questions. So if I wanna ask a follow-up to this in what makes Perplexity's AI content generation so unique, um, I would type in much as I would to a search engine. So I could ask something as if I was typing into Google saying, who created Perplexity AI? And if we hit that answer here, we immediately get the Wikipedia page for Perplexity AI right off the bat. We've got the definition, we've got the launch date, we've got the technology base, and we have the answer right here, as well as a brief description. And then we can actually go and share the link to that actual answer. We can ask it to rewrite it. We can copy it. We can edit our query. So say, for example, we wanted to change it so that if we didn't want to ask who created Perplexity AI, and like we wanted to completely change it, we could do that in, in the browser right here. That's something very, very interesting that you don't see on a lot of other AI chatbots. So in this case, I don't wanna edit my query here. So we'll just keep scrolling down. And we've got so many other different things we could do. View the sources, report it, delete. But if I wanna view the sources, all I have to do is hit these three dots here and hit view sources. And I have a whole list sorted by the most relevant to actually giving the answer to my question. These are the sources for my query who created Perplexity AI. We have the Wikipedia page first, the Wired article second, the Stork article third, and so on and so forth. In an age where cultivating the right information is much more important than just cultivating the information itself, Perplexity AI does a really good job at actually providing all of its sources first and foremost, but also giving you the answers in a way that makes sense giving you that traditional search engine experience with all of the technology that powers many of these AI chatbots. But what makes this so different from any other AI chatbot? Well, like I said before, it's an answer engine. So if we go to the left here and hit the discover tab, we're gonna see that we have the ability to discover all of the other queries that were asked today and all of the other relevant news. So for example, we have Metadrop's 405 billion parameter model, Wiz backs out of Google acquisition, all of this information that is modern and relevant coming from a variety of different sources that we can then go click into. So if we click into this one that says Metadrop's 405 billion parameter, 
and we can see the eight sources behind it, we have essentially an article giving us all that information, and it's broken down into sections. This gives us much more of a search engine feel without having us spammed with ads, as you know you would find on any other advertising platform or journal site for that matter that has something like this. This is an easy way to figure out and source all the relevant information for today without having any of the ads on it. And the most important information is there. So you don't have to jumble through four pages of nonsense just to get to the one paragraph of actually relevant information. All the relevant information here backed up with graphs and images that provide the actually very, very well laid out answer to your question is laid out right here, just like that. And it all comes from the Discover tab. That's something that you're not going to find in any of these other AI chatbots. The ability to discover information, relevant information, in a way that is curated for the information itself not for the search engine to make a profit. But here's what makes Perplexity AI so different. As we can see here, answers that are accurate and always cited. They are continuously ensuring that the information that is cultivated is accurate and is properly sourced. And they give all that information to you. None of it's obfuscated. We have citations in every response for every single answer it gives and we can get the conversation going with related questions. It's very good for research because it feels like you're kind of diving down a rabbit hole of sorts through a search engine, but you're actually getting relevant answers that make sense. And of course they have their free version, which they have unlimited quick searches, five pro searches per day, standard perplexity AI module. And then of course they've got their pro version for $20 a month, which has even more pro searches, et cetera. But we're gonna skip that for now. We also have perplexity that's available for iPhone and Android too, which is really, really cool. The next thing I wanna be showing you is the library tab, a really innovative way of actually collecting all the information that you've asked perplexity AI in a way that makes sense. But before I show you the library tab, I wanna give a quick shout out to our AI newsletter, Neural Frontier. If you don't know, we actually have an AI newsletter that has all the latest tips, tricks, knowledge, and pretty much every tool that you would need to know when you're actually using AI in your daily life. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, I'm going to leave a link to it down in the description below and you can check it out. But with that being said, let me show you the library tab. So the library tab, how do I use Perplexity AI? That's the first one we have here from earlier. But if I actually click in the library, we can see that I have threads and collections. Now collections are actually a way to store our threads or collaborate with others. So let's see exactly how that works. If I hit the get started button here, we can actually organize and group our threads or conversations just by doing this. We can put in the title, add an emoji to it, add a description, give a specific AI prompt. Now, if this looks familiar, it might be because this is a very similar format to how we see custom GPTs formatted in ChatGPT. And we also have the ability to have our privacy as shareable or secret. So if you're wanting to collaborate on somebody else to find relevant information for a topic that you're currently researching, this is a great way to actually collect all of your threads together, make it laid out in a way that makes sense to the average person, but have relevant sources so that the information that you have is always going to be relevant and always going to be correct. So I can just create a very simple one here that says learning about perplexity. We'll add a robot as the emoji and we'll say we're learning about AI. We'll hit create here and now we have our collection. Now we don't currently have any threads at the moment, so let's go ahead and add one. So if we add one, we could just search by asking anything. What's the capital of Germany? And if you'll notice, there's a little thing in the bottom left-hand corner that says, set a focus for your sources. Well, what's this all about? Well, if you actually hit the focus button, you can specifically tell Perplexity AI what types of resources you want to search through. You can search across the entire internet or specifically for academic published papers, writing, where it will actually generate or chat without searching the web, math, which is specifically meant to solve equations, video, and social. You can specifically curate what types of information sources you want to pull data from. So for example, if you're only looking for the answers from YouTube videos or from academic articles, you can specifically set this focus to be whatever you want it to be. So what's the capital of Germany? Let me say academic. So I only want to pull academic papers and we'll hit the search bar. From there, searching through an academic paper, we've got Berlin as the capital of Germany. Going back to the library here, if I wanted to add that new thread to a collection that was shared with a particular group or was just kept to myself, all I would need to do is either hit this plus button that says add to collection or I go to this three dot and hit add to collection. So we'll hit this and we'll say learning about perplexity. And now it's in there. All the threads that are relevant to one particular topic can be cultivated. If you have tons of different categories of conversations that you would typically have in the AI chatbot, you would know the struggle in having a huge list of just everything from every particular topic that you've talked about and having to scroll back pretty far to find the one relevant conversation you want. What Perplexity AI does is it actually allows you to create collections and save specific threads to a collection so that you can come back to it later when you need that specific relevant information again. And there we go. That should give you everything you need to know as a beginner to Perplexity AI. It's just like a normal chat bot, except it takes it a step further by being an AI powered, as they say, 
answer engine. It allows you to cultivate data with an experience very similar to a search engine, but gives you the ability to tap into a multitude of AI chatbots and technologies to provide you with the most relevant information from different sources that make things much easier to understand and much easier to acquire. So that being said, thank you so much for watching. And as always, my name is Josh Mountain, and I'll see you in the next one.